Hey, y'all. <laughs> well, hey, you too. Kitty. Hi. <laughs> um, today we're doing a unboxing. <laughs> yes, Kitty. Yes, I know. I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> Today we're doing an unboxing of my new camera. Uh, I know in my last video or in a previous video, I don't know when this is going up, but um, I had said that I'm getting a Panasonic Lumix G, uh, what did I say? GH5, but it's a G85. Okay, the GH5 is like twice the price. <laughs> the G85 is a little bit more uh, affordable. Uh, still pretty pricey compared to some of the other cameras that I've been getting. But but check out this box, y'all. It's got the the new Doctor Doolittle movie advertised on it with Robert Downey Jr. And it doesn't say Doctor Doolittle; it's Doolittle with Robert Downey Jr. in theaters January 17th. Love that advertisement. I'm going to have to see that because I really like Robert Downey Jr. He's, he's a pretty good actor. I liked him in those Sherlock movies. Okay, let's get into it. And I so very rarely have a knife handy. <sighs> My knife work is, is to be lacking. Or is lacking. Y'all don't use a knife like that. <laughs> there we go. That's that. Um, okay. Um. <coughs> um, oh, excuse me. Mm. Yeah. yeah, this is the, I got an email a couple of days ago uh, from the, what do they call it, the, um, what was the, ambassadors of the coldest water bottle <laughs> were reaching out to me, and it was like the third time, and I'm like, you know, they, they want they want so many videos per month and and I only do so many, so I don't I don't think I meet their requirements just yet. So I, I like I said, yeah, y'all try again next year. We'll see. I use the core bottle. K O R. It's K O R. And I've been using this bottle for years. And this bottle's been through some hell, too, because <clears throat> I got a temper. And with my uh, most recent, well, not most recent, but previous significant other, we used to get into some really knock-down, drag-out arguments. And uh, this bottle's gone through some walls. <laughs> and it survives. Oh, yeah, this is pretty... DMC G85M Lumix G Vario 12 by 60 millimeter blah 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 blah. I don't know what all that stuff means, but it's got the 4K there. And I know that's important for some reason, but I don't know what all that stuff means yet. I gotta really learn some stuff about photography. I'm going to have to do some heavy duty research and watch videos and stuff. Okay, there's nothing really in that box but some bubble stuff. Okay, what have we here? Uh, DP review DP that means something different to me and them people. Um, black Noir. Uh -huh. Lumix G. That's pretty. It's got a nice, interesting 
shape to it. All right. Let me move my water out of the way. Mm. 4K photo. That obviously means something. Here, let's put this on the floor. Mm. Panasonic. All right. DMW battery grip optional accessories. <clears throat> battery pack included. That's good. <clears throat> Stereo. <clears throat> Stereo shotgun microphone. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Shutter remote control. That's nice. Wonder if I get. Ouch! Oh, I forgot to take ibuprofen this morning. Oh, I've been having back spasm. I need uh, muscle spasms. I need to get my doctor to give me some muscle relaxer or something. Dang. DMW flash. Oh, these are optional. Ha! Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. But I wonder if that shutter remote actually helps video or helps with video. I doubt it. I doubt it. That wouldn't be. Let's <clears throat> see anyway. But optional accessories are always cool. Oh dang. What is that book? Is that just one book or is it multiple books? It's multiple books. I have to get into those deep. <clears throat> yeah, all these cameras have this uh, little, uh, little thing. You can put the books on top of that. It's <clears throat> a little, little camera sack. <laughs> See, maybe in the books I have a list of stuff that is supposed to be in here so I'll know what I'm looking for looks like it's got a lens in there <clears throat> welcome to the Lumix G family yada 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 no that doesn't have a list on it. Quick cut. Ouch for 4K photos. Yeah, I'm not interested in 4K photos at the moment. Uh, we might worry about that at some point, though. Basic owner's manual. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. Instructions. Basic. Functionment. Okay. Um. You know, to be perfectly honest, I don't even know what language that's in. Could be Spanish, could be French. <clears throat> I'm completely ignorant. <clears throat> you know, I have a, I have a girlfriend. I mean, not girlfriend, but a friend who's a girl. Um who knows like seven different languages. And I think that is so amazing. <clears throat> and I've, I've taken a couple of little, well, I haven't taken the courses, but I like peeked at a couple of courses like on Spanish and stuff because living out West, it, it would be very beneficial for me to know Spanish. And, you know, just, you know, I have, I know a few Spanish words, just a just a few and I, I can kind of kind of understand a little bit here and there I, I can understand a teeny tiny bit of French a teeny tiny bit of German but uh, you know but but somebody who can speak bunches of different languages fluently huh, I'm just in awe of these people wow <laughs> I'm just so amazed um, my poor little brain is fried. You know, when I was younger, I could memorize so many different things. Um, as a child growing up um, in grade school, 
like kindergarten, first grade, second grade, we had these school plays, and um, I don't know. I was such a talented little booger. <laughs> I would get the leads in the in the school plays, and you know, I was just supposed to learn monologues, but for some strange reason, I not only learned my lines, I learned everybody's lines. I learned the entire play. I memorized the entire play. <laughs> you know, so what happened to my brain? You know, what happened to it over the years? It just turned to mush, you know, just absolute friggin' mush. You know, in in like fourth and fifth grade, I took drama, you know, speech and drama class, and I learned things like the Martin Luther King's "I Have a Dream" speech. Um, I learned <clears throat> Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, and you know, memorized it word for word. And I, I couldn't tell you two lines from either one of them. You know, the preamble to the Constitution. I knew all of that stuff, and today, it's gone. It's like it's gone. You know, where does stuff like that go in your memory? You know, once you memorize stuff, isn't it supposed to just be there? And eh, it's gone. You know, but people who can who can hold on to stuff like that forever is just hey, they just amaze me. I don't know. You know. People with photographic memories or what, what do they call that? Eidetic memories? I don't know. Super intelligent people. Yeah, I'm just, I'm in awe. You know, people who do, you know, extreme mathematics, uh, physicists, very scientific minds. You know, I, I just, I don't know. You know, I just, I wonder what happened, you know, and I can't blame it all on, on, you know, smoking weed, you know, because I, I've known very, very smart people that, that smoke marijuana. <clears throat> but, I don't know, I guess they say, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. That, that could be very, very true. You know, and for a lot of years, you know, I just, I had a lot of downtime. And a lot of downtime. No, can't take care of the camera. No, what I'm wanting is a list of items in the box. And I would have expected that to be in the first couple of pages, but. I don't know, one of the last cameras I had had a list, but this doesn't seem to have one. Yeah, okay. All right, we'll worry about that later. All right, well, this, ooh, okay. I've seen pictures of this. This is like goes on the end of the lens. Okay. Lens is heavy, so I don't know if we're going to be using that much. Oh, I'm sorry, no, that's um, it's got some heft to it. <clears throat> we're going to be mostly filming up close and personal. Let's take that out of the baggie, give you a little shot of that. And it's got the little lens cap on it. Sweet. Oh, another little lens cap. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's probably for getting close up on something. And this would probably go on the end of that. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, that uh, Sony. A5100 I had. I had just bought a nice Sony bag and everything. I was all, um, I was so happy. And the first dang major video, and this is going to be a, 
first day major video I wanted to shoot was the Thanksgiving video. I had shot a little video of Thomas, Hungry Hippie, and that came out all right. It was a short video. You know, and I never use these either. I never use these, so this is going to go back in there because I'm going to, I don't really go over the shoulder with it, which I might end up putting it on there, but there's really not much need for it. Okay. Can't be everything. <clears throat> no, I've got, a, I've got a little compartment over here. And this is going to be all the accessories that we have here. Okay, this is the battery pack. This is like a charger. Yeah, because I don't think, yeah, this is a charger. Okay, it plugs in, charge it up, plug it in over there. And I've got a, I've got an outlet, it's like over there next to me. Okay. Mm. I don't like that. I'm gonna order a, I'm gonna order a new, another battery charger that I can, um, that's got a USB charger. I'm going to order a USB charger where I can charge a couple of batteries at a time. <clears throat> That's neat, though. That's cute. It's And it's nice of them to include one. You know, most uh, most people don't. Oh, it's got a little USB thing, but um, I'm not sure what they include. Oh, that's to uh, upload my stuff to the laptop. <clears throat> little USB cable. That's necessary. And there's my little battery. Mm -hmm. That's my little lithium ion battery. Okay, well, there's not much stuff that goes with it. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to, I had to send my uh, little Sony <clears throat> camera bag back. So I'm not going to get a Panasonic, Panasonic bag. I'm, I'm not going to get anything with a label on it. I'm just going to get... Um, a basic um, camera bag, which I've got a camera bag here, but it um, it's got the old uh, JVC and Vario in it that um, was belonged to Hungry Hippie. You know, he did a lot of video work for me over the years using that. And it was a good camera for a long time, but after he had his stroke, um, I just started to use my phone, um, or a phone when I finally got a decent camera phone or a phone with a camera. Um, and then, then I started using his camera and it was, there was some kind of setting somewhere that I couldn't figure out for the sound. <clears throat> I guess, I, I don't understand, but uh, somehow the sound was off. So it was time to get a new camera. So camera after camera, I kept trying and, until I finally found one that worked. And well, <laughs> I don't know if this one works yet, but the, the Sony camera, it was nice, but that first video, it, um, it died in the middle of the, in the middle of the sh shoot. There was like, oh, this didn't go in there. This went in there, I think. In the middle of the, yeah, in the middle of the first video. Well, it was 72% battery left and it just died. And I don't know to this day why, but 
Um, there were two clips because when I started it back up, I put in a new battery and started it back up and it was okay. And so it made two clips, but the first clip was corrupted somehow. Mm. Oh, I'm always so scared. <laughs> it's like a new baby. So delicate. Oh, wow. Oh, what is that? Well, that's going to be the mic shoe, I guess. Or the flash, I'm not sure. I'll have to read more about it. Oh, it feels nice. It's got a nice, got a nice heft to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It comes out. Flips over. So I could see myself there. That's one of the main features I wanted. Because when you're trying to film yourself, you want to see what you're doing. It's got the cover on. <clears throat> Very cool. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to read everything. Oh, yeah, it feels... It's got a nice grip on it. It's got a nice, uh, it's got a nice tacky feel. So it's like it won't slip out of my hands if I'm out and about shooting somewhere. Which, you know, I mean, <laughs> y'all remember, when are you ever going to be out and about somewhere? <laughs> y'all never know. Y'all don't know me. Uh, I get out and about once in a while. <laughs> I go places. Yeah, I get out in the casinos once in a while. I have to go play my Texas tea. <laughs> you know, watch them little armadillos dance. <clears throat> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be nice. This is the best camera I've had. I don't even want, well, I got to charge the battery. I'll do that. <sighs> it's going to take a while. <clears throat> yeah, oh, that feels nice. And it's got a um, it's got a jack for an external mic. Let's see, let me move this a little bit. Put this down. Let me see. Where is the? <clears throat> and I've got a 128 gigabyte SD card that I'm gonna slide in there somewhere. That's wherever it goes. And oh, and it uh it's Wi-Fi. Oops, it's Wi-Fi. It's got well, it's got Wi-Fi capabilities, which is good. Oh god, how long is this already? Eh, it's 23 minutes. Yeah. I was wondering if I would go past 10 minutes, but I did because I'm talking a lot. That's good care of the camera, standard accessories, T -t 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 quick start guide, page 12. Man, that was like right there. Mm. Oh, these people actually tell you how to attach the shoulder strap. The last camera, that the uh, Sony that I had, they didn't even tell you how to tie up the shoulder strap. It just gave you one. Mm. Charging the battery. Um, inserting the battery, inserting the card. Okay, that's down here somewhere. It's on this side of the grip. This side of the grip. And supposedly when this is, when the camera is sitting on 
the tripod, I'll be able to actually get to the battery or get to the card or get to, you know, get to the SD card or anything that I need to get to to change out. So I could change out the battery, change out the SD card, any of that stuff and not have to worry about removing the camera from the tripod. So, so Panasonic Lumix G85 and hopefully future videos will feature this camera and uh, yeah so look forward to a review on this at some point in the next coming weeks months whatever and I'll let you know what I think about it okay all right y'all let's see See, Panasonic Lumix G8 5. Very nice camera. Wish me luck, y'all. <laughs> Have a nice day. Love you. See you next time. Bye now. Mm -hmm.